Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, where we attempt to present a useful item, uh, some things that you can put into your life to perhaps enhance it. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... I'm Alexis. I'm a physician assistant student from the University of Mountain. And on my right... I'm Marianne, and I am a physician assistant student from Seton Hill University. So as you both two have been here for a while uh, working with us, you understand that we're an integrative holistic type of facility and mindfulness is one of the modalities that we use, right? right. When we're in the present moment. So it's easy to walk down the street skipping when the sun's shining, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or it's, it's really fun when you're at a big party and everybody's having fun, laughing. It's easy to be in that moment, isn't it? So what happens when you get up in the morning and you still have your hair in curlers? And, 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 and the trash has gone over. The dogs ripped everything apart in your house. Okay? Or when you get up in the morning and you realize you're not 20 years old anymore and those bones ache. Is it as easy to be mindful? Yeah. Can you be mindful? Yes, I can. Good. Good. We're going to talk a little bit more about how to do that. So, let's imagine that we're all going to a restaurant. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, what would, be the, what would be one of the things that your favorite meal to order, Miss Lexi Bell? Steak. Steak. Mm -hmm. What type of steak? Filet mignon. Filet mignon. And uh, you, Miss Marianne? I'd probably get some lobster. You'd probably get some lobster, wild steak and lobster. So tell me, what would be the last thing you would order on a menu, Miss Lexi? Chopped liver. Chopped liver. Wow. And uh, how about uh, how about you, Miss Marianne? I like chopped liver, too. I like that well, answer. You both, I, you both just like chopped liver? Not or some kind of great, intestines. Great, great, great. So sometimes in life... We go to our favorite restaurant, and we order lobster, and we order steak, and at times in life, we receive chopped liver on a plate and raw. So do you get everything that you order in life, Marianne? I wish, but no. Do you get everything you order? No. Absolutely not. So the idea here is that we need to deal with it, right? Correct. So here at Seclair, what we try to do is help people in a mindful way deal with what's going on in their life. So, and one of the things that we do not teach here is something called thought suppression. Okay? So, when I hit you on the hammer this morning with the with the on the knee with the hammer. Ouch. When I and I asked you, I said don't 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 think about that. Don't think about that. My, my don't leg think still about hurts. That right. So, what would be the only thing you could think about? My knee right. throbbing. And when we walked in here, if I saw a purple spotted hippopotamus and a pink tutu over in the corner, and I said, listen, that thing's been here all day, pay no attention to it. What would be the only thing that you could think of and the only thing you could look at? That's all I would look at. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what we try to do is help people to deal with, remember what we resist persists. What we resist persists. So what we're going to do is take a Take a mindful journey in dealing with thoughts and feelings and emotions and pain. There is pain in life, isn't there? Yes. There is pain, is there not? Like when I whacked you on the knee with a hammer. Yeah, it still there's hurts. pain. <laughs> there's pain. Well, certainly. Okay. So what we what we do then is we look at it with self awareness. And what we try to do is deal with those feelings of anxiety and deal with those feelings of depression and worry and fear. It all underlies with fear, is it not? So what happens is what we try to do through the mindfulness is activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Do we not? Could you tell us a little bit about that, Alexi? You know, the parasympathetic slows it down, slows down your heart rate, slows down your breathing, focuses on resting and digesting, as they say. Absolutely. So the sympathetic nervous system, would you shoot yourself with a gun? No. You don't, would you shoot yourself with a gun? No. So how often do you spend each day shooting yourself with negative thoughts? Those are there like bullets. Correct. Can you imagine it? You're shooting yourself with negative thoughts constantly, are you not? You're pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. So what does that do? That sets off the sympathetic nervous system, yes. which activates the cortisol, which is the fight or flight in your body, which, mm -hmm. is, which is produced by the adrenal glands right above your kidneys. Yes. A wonderful thing. Like when I whacked you in a hammer, you chased me, and I ran, and a cortisol was activated. So I ran away. It's like the, the caveman and the saber-toothed tiger, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. however, when we get into shooting ourselves with these negative thoughts and dealing with all the stress and anxiety in life that most of it we create ourselves, this cortisol keeps in a never-ending flow. It's a never-ending cycle. It's like a river flowing throughout our body, having catastrophic results to our immune system, to our heart, to our lungs, to our digestive system, and also and also to our to our mental processes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, there's a saying that if you can breathe, there's more right with you than wrong with you. 
Can you say that? No, you're going to be physician's assistant. So that's, that's when somebody comes in and they start to complain, ask them if they can breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if they can breathe, there's more right than wrong. So why do, why do we say that? Why do we say that? Because you have to look what's behind, like what, what's causing them their problems. Absolutely. So remember that negativity is like a black hole. Is it not? It's like a black hole. It sucks the life right out of you. It sucks mm -hmm. all the positive things in your life. It draws into your life. So when people are sick and they're depressed and things aren't going well in their life, when they can't get the curlers out of their hair, or say maybe when they're a little older and they can't quite move around and do things like they used to, Sometimes we, we can sink into that negative thinking, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes we can, we can get that black hole going and suck all the positivity and energy out of our life. Well, the thing is, what, what do we do about it? What do we do about it, okay? So how do, how do we gain control? What did we talk about today? What did we talk about labeling and describing, Lexi? Well, my mind is failing me right now. Okay. Like well, you're, I, guess you're, I guess you're really old and having yeah. some dementia. Okay. Well, the idea about being able to label and describe, the idea about yes. mindfulness, Marianne, is that being able to label and describe the thoughts and feelings that you have in that moment gives you power over it. Right. Yes. Okay. And if you're, when you're, what, what did we talk about when you were, you were in the dark room and you're having sounds at night? When I'm afraid. You're there's afraid. something, there's a reason why. Right, so you're afraid, and if you were able to label and describe what those right. noises were, would you be afraid of them? No. no. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we help people through this mindful journey, is to be able to label and describe the hurts and pains they have. Remember, pain's a reality. Have yes. you? Did you ever schedule a bumblebee sting? No. Okay. Did you ever schedule a stub toe? No. Okay. So pain, pain's a reality. It can happen at any time. However, through mindfulness, being able to label and describe, being able to step back, we're able to deal with the suffering part of it, are we not? Yes. And isn't suffering mostly suffer, suffering self-constructed? It is. Absolutely. And it's something, it's something that you choose. So what we ask people through mindfulness is to develop some self-awareness. Okay? And ask people to become a participant in their own life and their own treatment rather than act rather than a recipient okay mm -hmm. would you would you like to be a participant in your life i would even at your advanced age yes great so would that be the truth would you like to be a participant in yes. your life but how many people are recipients how many people are just recipients in their life waiting yeah. for things to happen waiting for things to to occur to them okay when we ask through them through the mindfulness being so when i ask you where are you at what would you say Right here. Right. When I ask you what time it is, you were, could you get that through your fog brain? Right now. Right now. Absolutely. So you are right here and it is right now. Correct. We are right here and it is right now. So for everyone joining us today, I would ask you to take a few minutes every day and take some time out and label and describe exactly how you're feeling and exactly how you're thinking. My friends, you are not your body. You are not your realness. You are not your pain. It is, it's living in you. So let's, let's make friends with it. That sounds like a, sounds like an odd thought, doesn't it? To make friends with pain. Yeah. Absolutely. A little odd. So when we lie down with it, when we embrace the pain and we, we know that it's ours and we address our body with loving kindness through meditation and through mindfulness, we address our heart, we address our bones, we address our aches with loving kindness rather than make them an enemy. Mm -hmm. Enemies fight back, don't they? Yes. And when you push somebody, they push back, right? Mm -hmm. So remember, what we resist persists. So what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to wish that knee well. Mm -hmm. We're going to wish those aches well. Yeah. We're, going to, we're going to accept and we're going to greet them through mindfulness, okay, Lab being able to label and describe. So you can take these things off. I'd like I'd like everyone out there in the world to know exactly who you are and uh, and what you look like. This is not them, okay? Mm -hmm. So, however, this is the way many people go through life as they wear masks and they wear presentations. Please be, please be right where you are and right where you're at, okay? And in this time and in this present moment. And again, my name's uh, Jim Ellermeyer. If you would care to uh, join us with any comments, questions, or criticisms, you can contact us at www.seclair.com. Any criticism, questions, any at all would be welcome. We, uh, we address every one of them. And as usual, we'll leave you with a free prescription. Fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unplug your television. Be in recovery from the news. And perhaps take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask you to fish without bait. And do a kindness for another. Be, be, be pleasant and nice to a cashier today. That's your assignment. Until then, thank you so much for joining us.